Artie Lane here with uh, another video. This one is about perimenopause. So that is the period of time before menopause hits. So for women, there is no actual year when we know we are going under the those changes of um, menopause. And perimenopause is the are those actually it's not a few months it's years before we stop having you know the the womb create a nest for a baby each and every month so we stop bleeding, and that is menopause stop doesn't come back perimenopause it may be actually some years it may also be. Uh, something what can be slowed down or even stopped. So especially if 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 you are not not in your fifties. So if in the fifties is when you know when when a lot of women have uh, go through menopause and some do it sooner, some do it later, and it's like that with puberty. Some are really really young already developing and some much later so it's it's a good thing to ask the mother and on mother's side how was that for you do you remember what ages etc and ashwagandha ashwagandha i'm going to spell it in the title is a supportive ayurvedic herb it's actually not one thing it's a combination it is supportive for the female hormones uh, it's really good for the nervous system, etc. Because the problem is this irritability, um, instability, maybe insomnia, or just uh, it, something. Experiences of 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 irregularity. So when you know, like maybe you have your period, you think you're getting it, and but it's not really coming, and then you're skipping a period. So that might be a sign of per being, you know, getting into that before menopause stage and then that yes so that that begins to the the systems are aging so we can never stop that but we can we can support it so we slow it down a little bit slow down the aging process so if we continue like really push ourselves in our jobs and in our exercise really you know being competitive and you know doing 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 that will speed up the aging pro progress oh okay you know, I watch a lot of women really just kind of pushing harder when things get harder. And that is probably not how this is uh, to be addressed. So listen to the body. And we need to always listen with new ears and look at the body with new eyes because we're looking at different things now. We really want to educate the way how I watch my body so it's not like how I watched it when I was pregnant for example or you know when I'm like doing high performance or something it's a little different so more careful more gentle etc so besides ashwagandha is be regular yes so try to really have that kind of lifestyle getting up at the same time go to bed at the same time circadian rhythm means like you really rise with the sun go to bed not with the sun necessarily but be, you know around 10 o'clock is really healthy even if you don't go to sleep just put the electronics to the side um you know slow down mental rest is as important and um Shatavari is another herb that is an herb, Shatavari, I'll spell it in the title. And it's a, it's a plant, it's a tube-like plant from the Himalayas, which is a good for all phases of, of female hormonal life, style, uh, circles, etc. So it's safe to take, even if you're not so sure, am I menopausal or not? Even if you're, if you're really, you know, in your 30s, you can already, to strengthen your female cycles i almost said but also to strengthen your your uh, female systems which are many you know it's like the, the the it's not just ovaries womb it's you know it governs you know all kind of areas so i don't want to get into that so much just say a couple of suggestions for um you know this is very safe to take so that's why it's okay to, for me to tell you to try that and when you try things like ashwagandha and shatavari you can take them together you can take them with what you already take those are safe to combine with what you may already been been doing um and they don't have terrible side effects so you're safe there uh, go for organic is best 
um, like with everything. Thanks for listening.